Good Tuesday morning, everyone. I'm Intasar Faulkner in the WIS First Alert News Center, bringing you the top stories that we are following this morning. We have new details from the Irmo Fire Department after an apartment fire that claimed the life of one man this past weekend. Authorities say Senior Corporal Christopher Caterley and a bystander helped pull the man's body out of that burning building. building. That victim was identified as 45-year-old James Ray Wright II. Now, foul play is not suspected, but they can't roll it out until they know the cause of death. An autopsy for Wright is scheduled for this Thursday in Charleston, and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Meanwhile, a search is underway in Sumter for a man wanted in connection to a domestic related assault. Sumter police say 25 year old Diamante Fulmore is wanted on several charges, including kidnapping and assault. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is urged to contact the Sumter Police Department or Crime Stoppers at 1 888 Crime SC. A cash reward is available for any information leading to his arrest. A family of eight is without a home after an early morning fire in Calhoun County. Fire officials in St. Matthews say that blaze started yesterday morning on Calhoun Road. Town officials say the family lost everything in that blaze. The American Red Cross and the St. Matthews Fire Department are both assisting the family at this time. A donation bin has been set up in front of the town hall. Also, a reminder for Richland County voters, today is a special election for Senate District 19. Polls have opened at 7 o'clock this morning. They will remain open until 7 p.m. tonight. We have one-on-one -on -one exclusive interviews with all of the candidates for this race. Just head to our website at WISTV.com. You can also find the latest news and weather updates on our website as well or by downloading our WIS News 10 app. Have a great day.